Hi, Warriors. Welcome to our 10th annual fifth grade showcase. You may be asking yourself right now, what is the fifth grade showcase? It's a time for us to celebrate our fifth graders that we're so proud of and get to showcase all their talents that they have one last time before they have to go on to middle school. So instead of doing this in person like we would in the gym, we're going to do this digitally today. And I'm going to share with you guys some videos of some fifth graders that have shared their awesome talents with us. So I'll start off in just a minute, but before we get started, if you would like to, you may leave a comment for our fifth graders down in the comments below on this video, or if you wanna give them some well wishes, but please make sure we keep everything positive and I'm ready to get the show started. So first up, I wanna kick things off with Mr. Alex Cothran, and he's gonna showcase his skills with Taekwondo. Showcase, I will be showing you a bit of Taekwondo. First, nunchucks. Second, tornado kicks. And third, my brown belt form. Or my high brown belt form. Alright, let's begin. Wow, guys, that was really awesome. Well, this next student has put stars in my eyes because his piano playing is really awesome. So up next, we've got Mr. Noah Chowardy playing the piano for us. So let's key up our next video. Well, that was really awesome, Mr. Noah, great job. You know, in a time like this, I think we could all use a couple of good jokes. So I think this would be a perfect time to bring up our next, our next uh, talent by Miss Natalie Hammond, who's gonna be telling us some of her favorite jokes. Let's listen in. Okay, so for the fifth grade showcase, I'm going to be doing jokes. So I have three. So this is my first one. Why do we tell actors to break a leg? Because every play has a cast. Okay. My second joke is how do trees get online? 
they just log on. Okay. My last joke is, did you know diet stands for, did I eat that? Wow, Miss Natalie, those are some really funny jokes. You had me splitting my sides. Up next, we've got some cool dance moves from our resident dancer, Miss Julia Johnson. So, I got, you know what, speaking of jokes, I got a joke for you guys. Uh, what kind of dance goes best with chips? Salsa, ha <laughs> ha. Let's check out Miss Julia Johnson and her great dance moves. Short and sweet, but that was so great, Miss Julia. We are very proud of you. Great job. So, up next, I thought it might be a good idea to bring in a little magic. Sorry, there are no cards. We got Mr. Mr. Asher Acton sharing with us one of his great magic tricks. And you know what? He had so many of them, we had to just cut it down to one. But I'm sure if you guys ask him, you'll be able to check out all of his magic tricks sometime. So, let's check out and see what Mr. Mr. Asher has for us. Hey guys, for this year's fifth grade showcase, I will be doing three magic card, magic card tricks. Uh, my volunteer today is gonna be my older brother, Shepard. Um, he's gonna help me and he's gonna pick out the cards and show it to the audience, which is you guys. So Shepard, please pick any card. Doesn't matter which one. Alright, don't show it to me, show it to the audience, please. Alright, now. Please tell me when to stop, okay? Okay. Stop. Okay, sit it in. I'm just gonna you know, shuffle it some. Just not shuffle it, just you know, mix it up. Mix it up. <coughs> All right. Now I will find your card. In the in the middle of the deck. Or somewhere. Somewhere where it's mixed up. That's pretty cool. That'd be crazy if you could find it. Is your card? He's six of diamonds. Yes, yes it is. He got it right. Okay, for my six. That was great. I still don't know how he did it. So, have y'all ever seen that new show on TV, The Masked Singer? Well, this next act is kind of like that, except there's not a mask, and you see the picture of the person, but there is singing. So, up next, we have Miss Deanna Farrell singing her heart out. So let's check out her song. You were the word at the beginning When we got the first time You were hitting the recreation My 
sin was great, your love was greater. What could separate us now? What a wonderful name it is. What a wonderful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a wonderful name it is, nothing compares to this. What a wonderful name it is, the name of Jesus. What a wonderful name it is, the name of Jesus. <laughs> so proud of you, Miss Deanna. That was a great job singing for us. Now, up next, we have a gentleman who needs no introduction. His name is Mr. Chase Pickney, and you're really going to flip over his next act. Whoa! That's all I got for flipping, guys. Okay, what else? Do another one. Do another one. Quickly. Do another one. Okay. Another one. Quickly. Do another one. Okay. Okay, what else? Do another one. Do another one. Quickly. Do another one. Okay. Okay, what else? Do another one. Do another one. Quickly. Do another one. Okay. Okay. Chase, that was a wonderful job. I'm pretty sure if I were to do that, I might end up in the hospital. So great job, Mr. Chase. Up next, we got Mr. Victor Estevez, and I bet you can't guess what he's gonna do. That's right, he's gonna play the piano. You know, some people say life is like a piano. What you get out of it depends on how you play it. And that can't be more true for Mr. Victor. Let's take a listen to him playing. Victor, what a fabulous job. Now, as you can tell, I certainly have a flair for the dramatic. Oh. Our next showcaser sure does have a flair for the dramatic as well. Let's bring up Miss Ansley Kirby. She's an actress who is a show all of her own. Let's enjoy this monologue that she has to share with us today. Grade churches, I'll be performing a monologue, which is acting called Obsessed, I'm Not Obsessed. What are my interests? Well, my friends say I'm obsessed with celebrities. I just want to say to them, look, you little fruitcakes, I am not obsessed with celebrities. The truth is, I'm only in love with one, Theo James. I know his age, address, full name, where he lives, and where his entire family lives. I mean, we're basically married. I plan on paying him a little visit. Yeah, I know the flight to England is a lot of money, but he's worth it. Anything for my hubby. 
Oh, don't worry. He totally knows I'm coming. I mean, he got my phone calls. I, I think. What? You think I'm obsessed too? No, ma'am. I am in love. Whoa, Miss Ansley. I could feel the emotion coming off of that. Great job. Up next, we've got Mr. Rivershank, who is going to be playing a little guitar for us today. And get it, get it, a little guitar. It's a ukulele. Get it? Ha ha. Okay. But all seriousness, you guys, I can't wait to share him playing for us his song he's been learning on the guitar, Blackbird. So let's take a moment and listen in. Hello, my name is River Shane. Today I will be playing a song about on the guitar. River, that was amazing, man. I wish I could play like that. That was so great. And from one of my favorite bands, the Beatles, too. Love it. Well, as you can tell by my goggles, this next act is this next act is anything but normal. This next act is by Mr. Johann Schulz, our resident scientist here, and he is going to be making science fun. So let's listen in and check out some of the cool science experiments he has to share with us. Try this at home. Hi guys, my science project is chemical reaction. What will happen if I mix Coca-Cola with Mentos? Will I be able to make a soda fountain? Well, Johan, we're glad you had fun. We had fun listening with you. <laughs> oh, did you guys hear that? Oh, sorry. No, that, that was just my whoopee cushion. We've got another comedian up next. We've got Miss Genesis White, who's going to share with us some of her own jokes. So let's take a listen and see if her jokes are better than mine. Welcome. 
come to Genesis Season Villain Witch Does Jokes. Um, so, so what the first joke is, what, there was two cows. One cow told that cow that there's a disease going on that kills cows. So he's already dead, you know. And then the other cow says, good thing I'm a helicopter. <laughs> I'll get it. <laughs> okay, okay. So here's the next joke. Once upon a time, there was a lot of people. And then that people said, chicken tastes better, you know. But chicken nuggets taste better. <laughs> How am I supposed to do that? I'm gluten free. That was a bad joke. Okay, so the next joke is knock knock. Who's there? Let me think about it. Okay, I'm gonna let you think about it. Let me think about it. Okay. Let me think about it. The first oh. name is let me think about it, Bruce. Okay, give me. There was un pollo y otro pollo. Okay? Pollo, pollo. And the pollo said, so. And then the pollo pollo said, so. They look happy ever after. Bye. Let me talk to those popular so. kids. Hi, Timothy. My name's Katie. Okay, those jokes were better than my whoopee cushion, let's be honest. For our next video, we have Miss Shelby Forbes. And you know, when I saw this video first come up, I wasn't really sure what to expect with it. But I'm just gonna pretty much tell you guys what I saw. She submitted a video and it is called How to Eat. So maybe grab yourself a snack and let's learn from Miss Shelby Forbes how to eat. Go. Whoa, that is definitely not how I eat, but I'm glad Miss Shelby can eat like that. Great job, Miss Shelby. Our final video today, guys, comes from some people that need no introduction. These people have been with you all year, and let me tell you, they're ready for some vacation. So, I wanna end things today with a video from your fifth grade teachers sharing a TikTok dance that they put on for you guys. So take a listen, take a watch, and check out their cool moves. Baby, come give me something on. Baby, come give me something on. Cause I can't stop loving. Baby, come give me something on. Baby, come give me something on. Cause I can't stop loving. Oh man, that was so great. Thank you so much fifth grade teachers for doing that for our fifth graders to kind of wrap up our fifth grade showcase. So that wraps it up, you guys. That is our fifth grade showcase. I hope you guys had fun with it. Congratulations to everyone who participated in it. I hope that uh, this has inspired you. And you know, even if you didn't get a chance to submit a Flipgrid video to me, I'm gonna put the link to the Flipgrid down below in the comments here or in the, uh, in the, in the description. So what I want you to do is if you're inspired and you want to make your own video and put it on Flipgrid, that's awesome. Great. Go to that, follow that link and do your own, do your own showcase video. Um, you can check out these same videos there, watch them all over again, give them likes, give them comments, and you can check on it anytime you want. This will be up for you guys. So please remember, leave positive comments, you guys, fifth graders. We love you. Congratulations on making it through fifth grade. We are so proud of you guys. We miss you. We love you. We wish you guys all the best in middle school. And we just hope to see you guys all again very, very soon. Thank you guys and have a great, great rest of the day. Bye.